Hey everyone, this is Robert Mack with Irvine Real Estate Link. Your link to the information that you need to make the right decisions. So right now, the weather is beautiful. There are a lot of buyers out there looking for a lot of great homes and we all know inventory is pretty high right now. There's a lot of homes to choose from. So how are you gonna make your home just a little bit different? How are you gonna make your home stand out to all the buyers? Because right now, let's get serious, the competition is really high, so there are certain things you can do to make sure that your home really stands out from the rest. So I know you've, you've watched my uh, videos in the past and you know that I follow a guy named Dave Ramsey and I get his uh, Real Estate Minute. And so I got his Real Estate Minute last week actually and I wanted to share it with you today and it's called Tips to Sell Your Home for Top Dollar. And uh, there are three simple steps uh, to really maximize the sale of your home, to make sure you get the most net so you can actually transition to your new home or invest the money, whatever your plans are, you really want to get top dollar for your home. So the first uh, tip that he talks about is pricing. You want to price your home um, aggressively from the start. You know, the reality is, is sometimes uh, sellers are chasing the market down by pricing too high and, and doing price reductions when it's just a little bit too late. So you want to come out uh, and have your listing be a hot listing right when it hits the market. You want to work with your agent, make sure you guys have some reasonable comps that you're working with, make sure that you take into consideration your competition, recently sold homes, homes that just aren't selling, the condition of your home, what are some great features that your home has to offer, and really come out and price it reasonably and aggressively. The reality is, is buyers are very savvy right now, and if they see a great price, they're going to go into that home and check it out. And if your home is overpriced, buyers aren't going to waste their time to go even look at it. Obviously, the higher and the more exposure you have on your property, the higher the net price, the sale price will be. So pricing it a little more aggressively and getting a lot of people in there increases your chance of having a multiple offer situation. And that's obviously the best case scenario for a seller because not every buyer is as strong as the next. So having some choices is a great way to, to increase your chances by of selling your home for the most amount of money. Secondly, have the seller create a personal note. You know, the agents in the area understand the market. We all understand what's going on in terms of comparable sales, but the seller, you, have lived in your home for you know longer than anybody around. So you know what are the positive features, what are the negative features, why did you buy the home, what attracted you to your home. You really want to take a moment and point out some of the great features. Work with your agent. Maybe you want to create a one-page flyer that talks about the benefits of the neighborhood. You know, is it centrally located? Um, you know, is, is the shopping centers within walking distance? Um, how's the traffic? What are some upgrades you may have? Highlight the, the, the benefits of living in your community, the benefits of living in your home. What does your home have that other homes may not have? What have you put into your home? You know, what are some of the upgrades you've put into your home? That's really important. Buyers love that personal touch. So if you're a seller, you're the one who has experience living in your home. Share that with the people that are coming to take a look. And third, Dave calls it, a breath of fresh air. So let me read to you what it talks about here. It says here, you want to stiff up the lawn, clean out closets, declutter, and keep things spick and span. You know, buyers, sometimes buyers can't use their imagination to the fullest, and if they see a cluttered home or a dirty home or a, a not a well-maintained uh, you know, lawn, that may turn them off. You know, spend some time, put some love and care into your property. If you're trying to sell it for top dollar, you know, clean up the dust, declutter, take things off the countertop, you know, you know, create a feel so when they walk in they can picture themselves living in it. So those are the three tips that Dave Ramsey had. There's obviously so many more tips and if you'd like to talk about that with me, I'd love to set up a time to talk with you about how we can maximize the sale of your home and get you the most amount of money. But that's a great start. Those are three very important tips. I love following Dave Ramsey. I want to share with you what he shares with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please share it with your friends and family. Let's spread the word. And, and, and leave a comment below if you have time. Take, take a moment to leave some feedback for us. We'd love to hear your feedback. And if you have video ideas, share that with us. We'd love to bring you new and, and fresh ideas. And uh, as always, check out my website at irvinerealestatelink.com. There are so many great buyers and sellers resources on there. And I'll talk to you soon.